I believe in Jesus, the firstborn of all creation, the prelude to Adam, the author of Eden, by all, in all, through all, Genesis reason, the husband of the newborn bride. I believe earth is one of his love's brightest beacons. I believe in Jesus, the infant king, ruler of the heavens, the universe's spring, and yet he took the frailest of forms, the weakest of things, for our mighty God was not too proud for the stable and trough of Bethlehem's sting. I believe in Jesus, the forgiver of men. Since man would not come to God, God came to them. Though we spit in his face through our arrogance and sin, holiness still became flesh so that it might be forgiven. I believe in Jesus, the perfection of the law, for creation was doomed by the requirements it scrawled. But he came not to abolish correction, but succeed where we did fall. And then he wrote a new law on our hearts. Love God and love all. I believe in Jesus, the horribly betrayed. Unknown by the world he himself had made, handed over to death by a follower to whom some silver was paid, disowned by a friend three times in one day. I believe in Jesus, the ever turning cheek, no sword in his hand. He took the way of the weak, redefined strength as beaten and meek when men struck him on his back. Only forgiveness did he speak. I believe in Jesus, the servant on the cross. To save the lives of the sinful, he considered his own life lost. Endured the torture of men. Whips and nails in his flesh were embossed. Received the righteous wrath of God, the judge bearing our judgment the ultimate cost. I believe in Jesus and that flesh in the tomb. You see, he bore the end of a normal human as he was born of a human's womb. He died a criminal's death and was buried in some other man's room. God, the Son, lay dead, the lifeless groom. But I still believe in Jesus and the body of his resurrection, for he redefined life in death's final rejection as he showed holes in hands to over 500 of his own selection so that humanity would not be able to raise an objection to the fact that Jesus Christ is God the Son and has made the ultimate connection. So I believe in Jesus and the commissioning of his ascension. For he ascended to God's right hand forever in intercession, leaving his truth in the hands of a few, those first to be called his Christians. His hands and feet are now the church, his boundless, reconciling expression. This is our heritage. They are our relatives. And this, this is our confession. We believe in Jesus Christ, his death, burial, and resurrection.